Hey everybody, I'm here today to share two projects with you that I created yesterday. Um, I was having like a lack of mojo, so I looked around my room to see, you know, things I've been putting back to alter, and I'd had this bird cage for some time, and I finally just uh, had a vision in my head, I guess you'd say, and went to town on it. Um, and then besides that is this little altered bottle over here, and I'll show that first because it's just real small. I sold one of my dress forms on Etsy and I wanted to make a little something extra for the winter. Just something cute, you know, to kind of go with it as a gift. So I got this glass bottle at Michael's, I do believe, about a week ago. Um, and I really like these. I'm going to go back and get more. They're fun and it's really heavy. Anyway, I just filled it up with like a pearl necklace that I'd had. I put some dominoes and a glue string. Sorry, y'all. Some dominoes down in there and then just a really pretty pearl necklace I had. I put a scroll here that I used old vintage book paper that Janet had sent me and tied a little bow on it. So little scrolls in there and then another little domino up here and just wrapped the uh, pearl necklace around it. I put this really pretty trim all the way around to the front. And um, this is a round circle piece from this, I keep saying Seven Gypsies, it's the London Market Ephemera Pack back there in the background. And I just distressed the edges up and put it right there. Um, over here is one of the Tim Holtz plaquettes and just put some bling pieces right there and a little crown charm coming off the top of it. And then this is a piece of bling that I'd won in a giveaway from my sister's scrapper. I'd never seen bling with like a little heart piece on it before. So I wrapped it all the way around. Um, I put another little bottle on top of the actual bottle and this is one of the Tim Holtz corked vials. And I alcohol inked it with mushroom alcohol ink just to kind of give it... Um, you know, set it apart from the glass bottle back here that it's on. I put some pearls and flowers down in there and just tie a little bow on it. Up here, I just have some different flowers um, and a couple down here as well that have all been glimmer misted. And then I got some rosebuds coming out, if you can see that over on the side back there. So just pretty simple, but I really like how it came out. I think it's really pretty. I'm going to make a couple for um, my shelves in my bathroom. And then I put this lace all the way around the top of it, the lid, and then wrapped a couple of layers of this, um, it's, I guess you call it some kind of twine, not baker's twine, but, and I just tied a bow and put it up there with a little flower. So pretty simple, but I like how it came out. And that is for the winner of my um, dress form giveaway, and it was actually Jennifer. I'm pretty sure it's my paper jewels, or paper jewels, I don't know, I'll put the link below. Okay, and here is the dress, but not the dress form, y'all, um, the birdcage that I did. This thing was like a tacky green, and I don't know if you guys noticed, I don't use green when I create. I don't like green, I don't care for purple too much. Um, anything bright, I'm not really big about. So, I guess I'll zoom in to kind of show you what I'm talking about. First, I alcohol inked it, the whole thing, with like black and mushroom and um, gold, different... Um, colors of distress not distress ink alcohol ink y'all and um, then I went over with white acrylic paint and hit it in some spots and then went over it with silver rub and buff as well so it came out with this really like cool grungy um, vintage effect and it almost looks like it's rusted in some spots too so I used copper alpha metallic mixatives too that's what I used for that um, but anyway I really like just how the base itself came out and I did it all the way around and at the top too it came with this really pretty like leaves and like vine wrapped and it goes all the way down to the base. So yeah, just did that technique to everything. I started here at the bottom and started wrapping this pearl necklace I had all the way around and gluing it and securing it and it goes all the way up. Down here on the bottom, and I'm messing up my background. Sorry y'all, give me just a sec. Okay. Down here on the bottom I just have a Tim Holtz book plate that I um, rub and buff to make it silver a piece from the Prima Almanac paper in there because I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this. I really want to keep it because I love it but um, nothing in my house is like this color scheme with like the pinks and stuff so I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Anyway I put the piece there and it says to and from. Put some bling on it. A little flower over here on the corner. Got some different flowers here on the edge of it. And then it goes up and I just put flowers randomly and the pearl um, strand wraps all the way up. Here's the leaves, and I just put a Tim Holtz al al alcohol ink to Tim Holtz corked vial, and I stamped on it with my um, stays on in black, and I used one of the Graphic 45 stamps. So it says Honey Almond Cream. I think it's a little blurry, but hopefully y'all can tell. 
and then I filled a little vial up with um, flowers and pearls and different kind of things tied a little bow on it put some lace coming out the side wrapped some white pearls on the bottom of it and then just a flower over here on the side and then the pearl strand wraps all the way up to the top and I just tied a bow right here and put a little flower on it so that's it for the base and then we'll go to the um, bird cage itself and I'm just so in love with this y'all I really really love how it came out um, okay where to start I guess we'll start over here on the side this is one of those recollections um, sprays that you get at Michaels and I got it the other day they were on sale so I put it all the way coming up and then I just randomly put some different flowers here's a little porcelain one some different flowers going up it little pink rosebuds there I'll zoom in to show y'all so I really like how that came out I think it's really pretty and elegant with the crystal coming out everywhere um, here I just put that same lace um, and then some black pearl trim I've got a Timmel's book plate that I painted and alcohol inked and put some little bling pieces on up here in this corner I have this thing don't want to stay still a couple of flowers these are some Prima cabbage roses and some I am roses flower um, up there so that's pretty much it for that part and then at the top of it I where the leaves came out I just put some different flowers and some lace coming off behind it and a domino piece I'll go up again sorry y'all for the shaking um, a little domino piece up there as well just coming off the top of the cage and then the sides and all the way around to the bottom and everywhere I layered some laces let's zoom out to show you this really pretty lace and I actually think I got this at Walmart if I remember correctly we have two Walmarts one of them is way out in town it's about a 30 minute drive and I go there every now and then they have lace like you would not believe at this Walmart the problem is they're typically sold out but when I do find it it's just amazing I mean they even have you know a cut it by the yard type section with more expensive ones but this lace was just I loved it and I couldn't believe it it was at Walmart but anyway I got that there wrapped it all the way around to the other side and then I put this trim I'm obsessed with this trim right now um, I got this from DK's craft DK crafts I think and I'll put the link to that below too really love this I think I like bought her out so so pretty and then I put this black flat back pearl trim um, that I got so yeah I just wrapped that all the way around and if you'll see these metal washers right here y'all I like the look of them because it kind of just went with my grunge theme I had to put those there because um this was so way down in the front that it was um, like doing this number because so much stuff was on the front not on the back so I had to balance it out if I end up selling it I'll probably cover that with flowers too um, but for me I mean I like grunge and I like metal so it worked for me so anyway yeah the lace goes all the way around to the bottom as you can see and around the sides and then the inside of the cage it just opens up and if I keep it I'm gonna put a picture of me and my honey in there but for now I got this really pretty vintage picture that I put the uh, Prima almanac paper as the photo map in the background I've got a big cameo over here I've got a glass chest piece coming out and then like a Prima cabbage rose again zoom in so y'all can see so that's over there on that side and then over here move the camera I just have a little journaling piece from the Prima Almanac line and um, a little flower at the top and some lace and then a Tim Holtz clock piece back there in the corner. So pretty simple but I didn't anything I was doing was covering up the picture so just decided to do a couple of things on each side to um, complement the picture in there and um, I really am happy with this shawl. It's still like just grungy enough for me but it's really soft and pretty and um, I'm really happy with how it came out took me a couple hours to do and I always start something and I'm not sure where I'm going to go with it but I was really happy with this outcome so I hope you all like and thanks for watching bye